Okay, good evening everyone. Have you done with the presentive working? Okay. Uh, so today we will have a revision of your worksheet uh, that was given to you in the last week, I think. Yes. Uh, so I'll be asking a question, and you have to. Answer whoever knows the answer will raise the hand. Okay. Is the screen visible to you? Screen is visible. Is my screen visible? Okay. I'll be sharing both. English and Marathi worksheet, and then you have to answer. Okay. Your question number one: Solve the following question. Considering the relationship in the first pair, complete the second pair. Process glass, pen glass, alkali silicate glass is what? पुढील प्रश्नाचे उत्तरे लिहा सह संबंध ओळखा संस्कारित कास पेन कास अल्कली सिलिकेट कास काय चॅट बॉक्स मध्ये आन्सर लिहा वॉटर ब्लॉक मराठी मध्ये काय म्हणणार याला लिहा मराठी मीडियम वाल्यांनी पण चॅट बॉक्स मध्ये चॅट बॉक्स मध्ये आन्सर वॉटर ग्लास आता जे मोठे क्वेश्चन असतील त्यासाठी मी तुम्हाला हॅड्रेस करायला सांगणार आहे अदरवाईज रायट युअर नेम इन द चॅट बॉक्स ओके आणि क्वेश्चन मला कम्प्लीट करू द्या दोन्ही लँग्वेज मध्ये तेव्हाच लिहायचं आहे आन्सर फाइंड फाइंड sorry state the relation between the temperature in degree celsius and temperature in fahrenheit degree celsius madhil tapman va fahrenheit madhil tapman yatil sambandh sangha yes raise your hand for this Yes, Nidhi. Yes, ma'am. I'm audible. Yes. F minus thirty two upon nine is equal to C upon five, where C denoted temperature in degree Celsius and F denoted temperature in degree Fahrenheit. Very good. Marathi madhe kono sangnar? Mansi. Okay, Mansi. Yes, Miss. Uh, in that I have written only one point. Is that okay? Yes. So can I read it? Yes, read. The relationship between Celsius and Fahrenheit shows that both are directly proportional to each other. Okay. Uh, this is based on the uh, marks, huh? Whatever marks the uh. Question is denoting accordingly. You have to write. If the question is for three marks, uh, you should increase the answer. And if it is for one mark only, then it, uh, this answer is okay. Okay, got it. Now, your next question is find the odd one out. Fusarium, Leptocorsia, Aspergillus, Polycarpus. विसंगत पद ओळखा फ्युजेरियम लेप्टोकॉर्सिया एस्पर्जिलस पॉलिकॉर्पस व्हाय लेप्टोकॉर्सिया का आहे ते वेगळं येस 
others are decomposers. Okay. See, uh, for the odd one out, whenever you are giving answer, you should have its, uh, what you can say? Tasa, say kahi, tumcha uttarala, what you can say? You should have a uh, supporting answer also, okay? Supporting answer pan tumcha kare asaila hawa ki tumhi bolta hai te right ka hai. Konta basis var tumhi asa sangta hai. Who am I? Uh, uh, I am chemical factory of the cell. Meter patients are Janu Rasayan Karkana. Mitochondria, yes. I think mitochondria, mitochondria, mitochondria is a powerhouse of cell, na? Yes. And chemical container should be in, I think, mitochondria, but uh, we should make it clear. Wait. Uh, leaves are green because of me, then chlorophyll that we all know since childhood, right? But uh, let us check. Huh? You can also check in your books, make it confirm. Cytoplasm contains all the org organelles in it and mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell that I know. But the question is chemical storage, chemical factory in the cell. Na? Cytoplasm is the medium for cellular chemical reactions. So semi, uh, chemical reactions are going, going inside the cytoplasm. But uh, the question is, cytosol stores vital substances like amino acid, glucose, vitamins, etc. Uh, okay, uh, so your answer should be cytoplasm. Powerhouse of cellular mitochondria lihaisa hai. 
अदरवाईज सायटोप्लाझम आन्सर कारण सायटोप्लाझम मधलं जे सायटोसोल आहे त्यामध्ये हे सगळे जे अमायनो ऍसिड वगैरे जे केमिकल्स आहेत ते आढळतात त्यामुळे सायटोप्लाझम विल बी द आन्सर ओके सो निधी युअर्स इज राईट गॉट इट एव्हरी वन गॉट इट येस ओके सायटो पॉवर हाऊस ऑफ सेल आला तर तुम्हाला लिहायचं आहे मायटोकॉन्ड्रिया अँड केमिकल रिएक्शन सायटोप्लाझम नेक्स्ट स्टेट ट्रू ऑफ ऑल्स मेटल करोड्स ड्यू टू सॉल्ट मेटल करोड्स ड्यू टू सॉल्ट क्षारांमुळे धातूचे क्षरण होते चुकी बरोबर फॉल्स देन हाऊ डू मेटल करोड कसे मेटल करोड होतात येस मानसी मेटल करोड ड्यू टू रस्टी फॉलोइंग वॉट इज द लोकेशन ऑफ बायक्यूस्पीड गॅप वॉल हृदयातील द्विदली झडप कुठे असते you are having uh, the questions should i show you the option or you are having the questions options dakhayla lagtil ka no need na okay between left atrium and left ventricle Okay, the lessons I have not taught you, I have to go for the answer. Rechecking, okay? What they have asked you? Kuna ekda sanga kasha kada vishan la plaga? Kutaniya ma ikan aaz tell me. What is the location of a bicep valve? बायकस्पेड वॉल राईट बिटवीन लेफ्ट अट्रियम अँड लेफ्ट वेंट्रिकल बिटवीन लेफ्ट अट्रियम अँड लेफ्ट वेंट्रिकल इज द राईट आन्सर येस मानसी नॉट द राईट वेंट्रिकल बिटवीन लेफ्ट अँड जर येस लेफ्ट अट्रियम अँड लेफ्ट वेंट्रिकल ओनली गॉट इट येस ओके नेक्स्ट खाडीचे पाणी आणि नदीचे पाणी वेगळे कसे हाव इज क्रिक वॉटर वाय इज क्रिक वॉटर डिफरंट फ्रॉम द रिव्हर वॉटर येस Greek water is no khadi ka mantat maite khadi cha pani kharat asto ani nadi cha pani god asto ata liha common sense ahe ha no need of science khadi cha pani greek water is more saline than the river water okay
ठीक आंसर समझ ले सग आंसर द फॉलोइंग वाई डिड एशियन चीता आई थिंक दिस लेसन यू डोंट हैव यू हैव दिस लेसन नो ना यस वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिट्वीन हीट एंड टेम्परेचर What is the difference between heat and temperature? Ushnata ani tapman yathil farak sanga. Shall I raise your hand for this? Difference between heat and temperature. Yes, Nidhi. Yes, ma'am. Heat is related to the total kinetic energy of the atom in a substance, while temperature is related to the average kinetic energy of the atom in the substance. Heat flow from a body at higher temperature to a body at a lower temperature is a quantity that determines the direction of flow of heat. It is quantitative measure of the heat. It is a quantitative measure of the degree of hotness or cold uh, coldness of a body. Higher temperature does not mean higher heat content. Very good. Marathi, what are you going to sing now? Krishna Tani Tapman, ये दिल फरक। चलो Marathi medium. No one. explain why the capillary tube of clinical thermometer thermometer has a constriction vaidakiya tapmapi cha fuga jawalil kesh nadike cha bhag vakra ka asto yes तुम्हाला हा पेपर दिला होता ना सॉल्व केला की नाही तुम्ही एक्सप्लेन वाय द कॅपिलरी ट्यूब ऑफ अ क्लिनिकल थर्मोमीटर हॅज अ कॉन्स्ट्रिक्शन येस निधी येस मॅम वेर टेम्परेचर ऑफ अ पेशंट इज मेजर्ड विथ अ क्लिनिकल थर्मोमीटर द Mercury in a bulb expand and rise in a tube. The small constriction in the temp, uh, thermometer prevents the mercury thread from the radiating into the bulb. Thus, the patient temperature can be read at easy after removing the thermometer from his body. Very good. Very good, Nidhi. Write the functions of lysosomes and Golgi complex. Golgi kai ani laya kari ka yance pratte ki don kariya liha. Is maasi? Uh, lysosomes functions immune system it destroys viruses and bacteria that attack the cell demolition squares it is destroyed worn out cellular organelles and organic debuses uh, the functions of golgi complex golgi complex is a secretory organ of the cell it produces vacuoles and secretory vessels very good marathi medium wale तुम्हाला पण पेपर लिहायचा आहे ना आयुष 
Vaishnavi Om Distinguish between arteries and veins. Dhamni ani nila. Farak spashta kara. Yes, Sanchita. Yes, Sanchita. Yes, ma'am. You have raised the hand, na? Yes. Yes. Blood vessels which carry the blood away from heart are called as arteries. Vessels mm -hmm. carrying the blood towards the heart from various parts of the body are called venous veins. Except the one carrying blood towards lungs, all carry oxygenated blood arteries. Veins, second point, expect the one carrying blood from lungs transfer deoxygenated, deoxygenated blood. Very good. Marathi Madhe Kaun Sangar? Marathi. Marathi Madhe Kaun Sangar? Ekhi answer Marathi to Nalila Naya Zoon. Explain the propagation of sound in air. Propagation of sound in air. How do you think the sound is going to be the first time? Yes, propagation of sound in air. Yes, Nidhi? Yes, ma'am. Let us consider production of a sound by using a turning fork. A turning fork is made of, of a metal. It has a steam and two prongs. Uh, the figure shows the state of air in the absence of propagation. Sound through it. Equally spaced vertical lines show that the average distance between the air molecule in the same everywhere. It means average pressure and average density in the region a, B, and C are the same. Suppose the turning fork is held vertical, its steam is fixed in a stand, not shown in a figure, and its prongs are strung lightly using a light, a light hammer with a piece of rubber at the top. The prongs that start vibrating. The figure, show, uh, figure B shows what happens when prongs move away from, the, from each other. The, Air outside the prongs is compressed layer in a region A. The pressure and density increase in this region. Figure C shows what happens when the prongs have close each other. The air molecule near the prongs move away from each other, resulting in a low pressure and low density. This region is called air fraction. Meanwhile, the compression products uh, produce air yearly move forward. That is away from the prongs because the air molecule in this region transfers their energy to the air molecule in region B. Producing compression there, the periodic formation of the processing and rare fracture result in a propagation of a sound wave always from the propagons. Uh, uh, eventually, this sound wave reach our ears, eardrum vibration, and we get sense. Uh, we get sense. Of hearing a sound, especially signal, is the brain. Uh, yes, but while writing the answer like this, na, when you are uh, taking it as it is from your book, so you have to refer for the reader's reference. You have to draw the diagrams also. Okay. Yes, got it. Okay.
रेस्पायरेशन आहे का आता तुम्हाला लेसन येस रेस्पायरेशनचा जो क्वेश्चन आहे तो आता आहे का तुम्हाला या एक्झामसाठी येस हवे सॉरी बाह्य श्वसन आणि आंतरश्वसन यांच्या व्याख्या लिहा मानवी श्वसन संस्थेची अचूक आणि नाम निर्देशित आकृती काढा एक्सटर्नल रेस्पायरेशन आणि इंटरनल रेस्पायरेशन डिफाईन डिफाईन एक्सटर्नल आणि इंटरनल रेस्पायरेशन येस नो वन यू ऑल आर हॅव्हिंग दिस लेसन ना एक्सटर्नल अँड इंटरनल रेस्पायरेशन ऑक्सिजन फ्रॉम द इन्स्पायर्ड एअर गोज इन टू ब्लड इंटरनल रेस्पिरेशन एक्सचेंज ऑफ गॅसेस बिटवीन सेल अँड टिश्यू फ्लुइड इट्स कॉल्ड एज इंटरनल रेस्पिरेशन ब्लड कॅरीज द ब्लड सी ओ टू फ्रॉम व्हेरियस पार्ट ऑफ द बॉडी टुवर्ड्स द लंग्स एक्सचेंज ऑफ गॅस बिटवीन सेल अँड टिश्यू फ्लुइड सॉरी मॅम ऑक्सिजन मूव्ह फ्रॉम ब्लड इन टू टिश्यू फ्लुइड अँड कार्बन डायऑक्साइड मूव्ह फ्रॉम टिश्यू फ्लुइड इन टू ब्लड अजून कोणी सांगणार सेम निधी मॅम वी नीड टू टेल डिफरन्स बिटवीन लाईक दॅट येस नो 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 just tell me the definition what is internal respiration and what is the external respiration okay intake of air from outside into the body and release of air from the body to outside is called external expiration internal respiration exchange of gases between cell and tissue fluid is called internal respiration yes this one uh, i want i want it just you have to uh, tell the definitions okay uh, so i think in the uh, previous lecture we didn't have completed all the lessons na did we no na i was uh, asking you the question and answers all the lessons were done i don't think so yes or no Okay, okay uh just let me confirm no no not all the lessons are done i'm in this term i think yes the reflection of light is all
is the lessons i have taken uh, that we have done okay uh, so we will be revising today ecosystem all are having the lesson ecosystems again na hai okay try to answer if no uh, then uh, i am going to tell you okay doesn't matter i have uh, taught you this or not i am going to tell you the answer Uh, so uh, let's uh, revise what is there in this uh, lesson what is ecosystem the world around us all the things living non living biotic factors abiotic factors all included in our ecosystem okay so ecosystem matlab abiotic factors are hai uh, physical factor air water vapor mineral soil sunlight abiotic since they do not have lives so they are called as abiotic the abiotic factors uh, animals then plants these all are called as the abiotic factors so some are autotrophic making their own food and some are heterotrophic that uh, in uh, that are dependent on the autotrophic for their food and some uh, heterotrophic also right so producers are plant consumers are animal and decomposers microbes then uh, here abiotic uh, uh, factors uh, chemical physical and chemical ashe don prakar padtat tyamadhe inorganic substances gases and all are inorganic ani organic je aplyala uh, bhaja kiwa biotic padarthan madhun miltat je substances tela apan organic mhanaycha okay so uh, what is the structure of our ecosystem Uh, see, here the interaction among the factors of an ecosystem is given. A biotic factor is uh, dependent on the biotic factors, and how uh, they are dependent, how uh, the biotic factors die ultimately, and how they undergo decomposition by the decomposers. This figure is showing us that. different types of ecosystems are also uh, given over here aquatic grassland marine okay and how urbanization industrialization has affected our ecosystem how the diminution is going on and uh, tourism building of large dams and ultimately the wars are also affecting our ecosystem this all is given in our uh, this ecosystem wala lesson uh, इनडायरेक्टली बोला तुम्हें आतापर्यत जे पर्यावरण पर्यावरण शिक्षण या विषया मध्य शिकता है लेसन मध्य एम आई राइट यस ओके सो शाला आस्क यू द क्वेश्चन फॉर क्वेश्चन नंबर वन राइट इट इन अ चैट बॉक्स हाँ Air, water, mineral, soil are dash dash factors of an ecosystem. Yes, physical. Okay, uh, you want it in Marathi also, na? I can't open the book. Is there anyone from Marathi medium? मराठी मधुन को मराठी मीडियम वाला को संगा मला नो ना ओके फाइन दे नो नीड जर असेल तो तुम्हें मज वाचर डायरेक्टली ती रिका जागा वाचू शकता बुक ओपन कर बट नो वन इज देअर सो नो नीड चला river ponds ocean are dash dash ecosystem land aquatic synthetic river pond ocean aquatic the words itself is suggesting right there mat is dash dash in an ecosystem producer consumer decomposer 
consumer always, yes. Uh, match the following. Producers and ecosystems are given. Cactus. Cactus in desert. Yes. Then aquatic plants. Aquatic plants. Aquatic. Then mangroves. Mangroves are in three. मैम I am going to tell this, and uh, you can tell me. Yes, Mansi. Mansi, yes, Anidhi. Yes. Mansi, which I'm one you are going to, to tell? I am going to tell about food web. Okay. I am telling about ecosystem. Okay, fine. Yes, Mansi. The complex feeding relationship form of food web in nature in ecosystem. The food chains are not straight and linear. But these are quite complex. A prey is consumed by a predator, but this predator can itself be a prey to some other predator. For example, frog is the predator for variety of insects, but frog is preyed upon by snake, and the snake can be eaten by a bird. The same bird can also feed on insects or frog. The interrelationship between different biotic components of any ecosystem does form the complicated food food web yes very good yes nidhi yes ma'am ecosystem is a structure formed by interrelationship between the living organism and non living components in their surrounding habitat living organism are also called biotic factor while non living components are called abiotic factor the abiotic and biotic factor have a reciprocal relationship with each other The ecosystem has plants as producer, animals as consumer, and pro microbes as decomposer. The decomposer return the substance back to the nature by process of decomposition, in which the organic complex molecules are reduced to their inorganic constitution. Thus, the dead remains of plant and animals are once again recycled back to the nature in any healthy ecosystem. Very good. And what more is there? Na bio. Biome. Who will explain that? Yes, other than Mansi and Nidhi, who who is going to explain that? Biome. Sanchita, will you? Yes, anyone, please. Or should I tell? Should I? Yes, Nidhi. Yes, ma'am. Biomes are large collection of a small ecosystem which are similar in their structure. In a particular biome, there are same climate, abiotic factor, and similar living organism. Biomes are of two main types: the land biomes and aquatic biomes. The land biomes exist only on land. Land biomes are following subtypes based on the abiotic factor. Example: grassland, evergreen forest, desert, tundra ecosystem. In taiga, uh, ecosystem in taiga, tropical rainforest, etc. Aquatic biome includes fresh water ecosystem, marine ecosystem, and brackish water ecosystem found in creeks. Good. Yes. Let's give scientific reason. Plants is an ecosystem. In an ecosystem, are called consumers. Plants in an ecosystem are called consumers. Yes, Mansi. Plants contain chlorophyll in their leaves, so they can make their food by using sunlight, water, carbon dioxide, 
oxide by the process of photosynthesis all the other ecosystem are directly or indirectly depend on the plants for their survival hence plants in an ecosystem are called producers yes, so it should be producer na how is this created by mystically or what yes ma'am yeah yes na no? okay then large dams destroy ecosystem large dams destroy ecosystems yes nidhi Yes, ma'am. When a large dam is constructed, the original landscape is changed. The trees are cut down, causing deforestation. The wild animals lose their habitat. Many of them become extinct. This there is a great loss of flora and fauna due to construction of a large dam. There is undue pressure on a land surface caused due to stored water column. This may cause earthquake. The human settlement are removed as their houses and farm are immersed under water. In all the above ways, large dams destroy the ecosystem. Very good. And uh, yes, rhinos were restored in Dudhwa Forest. Rhinos were restored in Dudhwa Forest. Yes. Yes, About 150 years ago, Dudhwa Forest was the habitat for single horned rhino. But in 20th century, this animal became extinct due to unrelenting hunting. On 1st August, sorry, on 1st April 1984, this rhino was restored there. They were bred in captivity and then released in their habitat. For this 27 square kilometer grassland. and forests were round the year water sources were available were selected two observations were established these efforts become successful very good answer the following what are the effect of increased population on ecosystem लोकसंख्या वाढीचा इकोसिस्टम वर काय परिणाम होतो येस निधी Yes ma'am human population growth rate is very big as compared to other animal moreover there are apex consumer in an ecosystem just like any other organism ecosystem provide all the basic needs to humans too however man demands such much more due to extensive population and natural resources are utilized uh, on the large scale only by man changing lifestyle degradation of nature and pollution are certain aspect which are created only by human beings all this cause increased stress on the ecosystem large human population also produce large scale solid wastes yes yes good how is urbanization responsible for destruction of an ecosystem Yes, Panchita. First, when people do not get sufficient and other things, then they migrate to the cities. Second, the cities provide employment for due to industries and factories. Third, this migration causes causes urbanization. Fourth, due to increased population, there is more need to need for houses. Fifth, this results in loss of agricultural lands, marshlands, wetlands, forest and grassland, etc. Six when land usage is changed, many naturally occurring species of plants and animals are exterminated. Seventh, animal-human conflicts are can also be the reason. Yes. Yes. Next. Uh, what are the reasons for war? What are the reasons for wars? Yes, maybe. 
Yes, ma'am. There are differences of opinion and competition over land, water, mineral resources, etc. Among neighboring countries, moreover, there can be economic and political causes which lead to war among different countries. Many a time, the religion, religions, and ethnicity are also cause for dispute. Due to international conflict, the peace of disturbance is uh, disturbed, and it result in war. explain the interaction among factors of an ecosystem how the factors of in an ecosystem are interacted yes ma'am the biotic factors such as air water soil sunlight temperature humidity etc affect the biotic factors that is the surviving plants animals and microbes in the ecosystem the type of a biotic factors in an ecosystem determine the survival of biotic factors the population of these biotic factors is also depend on the quality of a biotic factors the proportion of a biotic factors is an ecosystem as biotic factors use up a release particular a biotic factors every biotic factor also interacts with its necessary a biotic factors as well as other biotic factors around it differentiate between evergreen forest and grasslands what is the difference between evergreen forest and grassland let me do yes ma'am evergreen forest about 7 uh, about 7% of earth surface occupied by evergreen forest more than half of the earth terrestrial plant and animals are seen in evergreen forest tropical evergreen forests are dense multilayered these forests are found in large area receiving more than 200 km annual rainfall that is very heavy rainfall tropical regions show evergreen forest grassland about 30% of the earth surface is covered by grassland grazing animals are seen in grasslands grassland consists of tall grasses uh there are wild grasses and there may be some uh, trees there is an average of 20 uh, to 35 inch of rainfall a year in grassland several parts of the world have grassland mm -hmm. uh, can you describe the picture one is desert another is a forest yes can you describe anyone it's so simple now the third and fourth standard person can take the answer i will show you the picture you just have to describe i mean you this mass yes ma'am i will describe the first picture oh yes go on uh, the picture number 1 showing desert ecosystem in desert ecosystem the producers are green cactus and the palm tree since in desert there are uh, uh, lack of rainfall the vegetation is very less the soil is sandy soil the consumers of the desert are also limited in the above uh, picture the camel is shown which is a primary consumer in the desert ecosystem camel is very well adapted for desert life there is also scarcity of water in desert and hence cactus show suitable to survive in desert adaptation yes uh, the second picture Ma'am, can Anyone? I describe? Yes, yes. In second picture, the forest ecosystem is shown because we have seen elephant and tiger in the picture. Also, giant hornbill is sitting on the tree. This forest must be tropical evergreen forest. The rainfall is heavy in such care uh, in such area, and hence different type of wetlands can be seen in the forest. Wetlands support variety of life. 
A separate aquatic ecosystem does exist here, which is closely interconnected with the terrestrial uh, ecosystem through food chain and food web. The bird utilizes the fish as their prey. The wild animals come to wetland to quest their thirst. Uh, in this picture, the plant, grass, etc., produce a small fish. Uh, fishes in a la uh, lake are primary consumer. They will be eaten by large fishes, which are secondary consumer in the aquatic uh, ecosystem. The elephant mm -hmm. is a herbivorous animal, and hence it is primary consumer. Uh, the snake is secondary consumer while a bird of a prey, the girl that is flying, the tiger are territory consumer. Yes, very good. Uh, so here we have done with lesson number 80s. 18 uh, all the question answers yes so all of you have understood any doubts okay uh, so in the next lecture uh, like uh, if tomorrow is there uh, we will be having revision only for the any subject that will be decided okay so you can leave the class bye 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 miss thank you welcome